Dum dum da dum dum da dum dum da dum. Dum dum da dum dum da dum dum da dum. Moon, moon and Virgo, six house moon. This is my bathroom. Welcome. We're going to talk about this for a little bit and figure out what this means. Well, Virgo moon is very interesting. I've got a boyfriend with a Virgo moon, so this affects me a lot. What does it mean to have a Virgo or a six house moon? Well, basically, you are somebody who just doesn't want all this frequency. You know, you are somebody that doesn't want to rush and f freak out and do all these different things. If you've got people around you like this, you tend to calm them down. If there's anything like this around you, you tend to just, just like, Put it down a little bit. Okay, everybody. We are very good at communicating here. Let's all stay at this level. You're very good at putting the bar down just to make sure everybody connects. No. Something about this moon that is very controlling without the need to control. By just saying, no, 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 no. This moon cares for no one as much as it cares for purity, a degree of stability, and a very carefully planned demeanor where things can be completed and put away. Things need to be sorted, diluted, reclaimed, and put behind. This person is not here for shoving, pushing, thinking, doing, la 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 la, bouncing too much. This person can sometimes, depending on the sign and the ascendant, if, if everything, of course, is relative, but they're here to compile. Okay, we've got this, you got this. Now we're going to put it together. We've got to bundle it, bundle it up and we're going to put it away for good keeping. Okay, what I mean. This person has come through as a sort of social jelly that knows everything is wrong. It knows everything is not quite as it should be. This uh, person will perhaps not want to hear certain things or to do things too abruptly. There needs to be da -da 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 stop and still. There needs to be sort of a placing down, okay, placing down of the law and then putting things away once and for all. This person doesn't need to return, if you know what I mean. If they've got their life together, perhaps this is their last lifetime that they're living, okay? Perhaps it's just like, you just wanna do it. You just wanna do it, complete it. Please don't bother me, everyone. And you want to lay it away. You don't need to do things twice, usually. This person will tend to do things in a way where you might not need to return there ever again. So often when you have a relationship with somebody and come to an end, there is not any more friction between you. It might be like a, some glimmer of hope here and there, but most likely it'll come back in a way, but just to put away, just put away. Things about you do not need to be redone. There will be something about this woman especially that will be made up exactly right. There will be somebody in the family perhaps of this man who was a woman who did things completion, like completion queen. She did things and they did not need to be said again. The, you know, it's really hot in here all of a sudden. She did things and things did not need to be repeated because this energy here does not want to possess a feeling of incompletedness. And this is what they deal with every day, incompletions, incompletions of other human being, beings, incompletions of the world, incompletions is everything is sort of like loose ends and they sometimes say things like, I don't know what I'm going to do with you, I don't, I have no idea, I have no idea, I don't know how to deal with that, like they just look at their life and just go, oh goodness gracious, I don't even, I don't even know, ah, you know, sometimes like, touch their head, you know, like, far, I don't know what to do. I don't know. I don't know where to start. Because um, what they've got usually is a life of glory through completion. And when you create that kind of paradigms, like I've completed something, I'm still, if it's completed, it's good enough. 
If you've got that kind of a respect for yourself that you gain over time through completion of tasks, if you've got especially other planets and systems that are relying on you to get things done all the time, it is most likely that this move will not bring you success till you can just give it up. And that what comes to this moon later, in a very late age, they kind of look around and they go, I actually really don't care. I don't care. Hey, look, my socks, I haven't washed them for weeks. I really don't care. You know, they'll come to a point where people have been knocking on their doors. People have been finding them for their troubles. People have been looking to them as a certain alleviator and savior of the world. And they've been really trying hard to do it. They've known all their life, they've come here to complete a mission and to fuck off. And then suddenly, suddenly, they'll find that they really don't give a shit about this mission. And this will come very early in life if they've been um, kind of a prophet of peace and change for themselves and the others. But maybe it will come late. Maybe there is some type of a compulsive lie in the air that they cannot feel. And this is because the compulsive lie is basically the knowing of things being imperfect. If they think everything is, everyone is imperfect, things are not right, things are not gelling, is this a shit, that is shit, watch your tongue, what are you saying, okay? If you're saying, this isn't complete, that is not complete, I don't like that person, I don't like this person, I don't like the way things are, I will never, you know, contend in this competition because, you know, the competition is bad, these people are not good for me, this is not good, this is not good enough, where is completion, where is the clarity, where, 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 where? you keep on sort of pointing a finger back at you and you go like this you know you got you know all these fingers pointing back at you you go you haven't done this you haven't done this this is not done this is not done and you're stressing yourself out okay so best thing to do here is just to say okay that's cool it's not my problem that's not my problem that's not my problem. Every time you have an energy come up like, well, she didn't do that. She said she'd do it, but she wouldn't do it. And sometimes they get really scrutinizing of small things. Well, the bills came and she didn't pay the bill. And sometimes they'll go, oh, but she didn't pay. Why do people do that? And sometimes it's just really easy to go into that cycle without really needing to confront yourself and say, okay, I don't care. The evidence is clear. For example, she didn't pay. I will hit her up again two months later and see what she says to me. If she says no, I'll take her to court or something like that. You know, you just got to have, okay, this hasn't happened. This is my next action. If that's not going to go ahead, I'm going to do this. There needs to be a very clear parameter. I don't, meh, 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 meh. I just go, okay. Okay, like there needs to be a really clear protocol about what you do when things seem out of your hands. Have this person that you are feeling about feelings looking towards you as if you were a prophet that will fix them. Say, sometimes with this moon it will be most likely an energy where a man generates a woman in his life that needs healing or a woman is a healer or a healing presence for someone else where they look to her almost as if she was a nurse or some kind of a stability person who will stabilize their life and take their pain away and hug away all the sorrow. If you've got somebody in your life like that, chances are you're the one who needs the help. Because when you're looking at somebody and you're going, they're just in my life because I give them healing, it will most likely be another way around. So if you're generating a lot of income through a healing industry, if you are somebody who is like a doctor or something like that, which is most likely with this placement or some kind of a healing practitioner, and then you get like a woman or a man in your life, you know, who's your lover and they're giving you a lot of time and they're telling you a lot of things about them. Perhaps it's because you would not just let it go yourself. And then they sort of triggering you into possessing a certain uh, persona for them. Like, aren't you sad for me? Like, aren't you worried that this happened to me? And you might need to just hold them close sometimes or maybe perhaps just leave it alone because this human being, this woman or this man in your life, will most likely just want you to surrender to your own energy, your own enticements. Like perhaps sometimes they want you to just go out and get it for yourself. Like, and not look at us like other people to provide you stimulus because this moon kind of looks for a child in another. This moon kind of looks for somebody to cuddle and sort of caress and cover in a blanket sometimes. And it's because this moon needs the rest. And then this person needs to find new stimulus because when there is a comfortable situation where there's comfort found in a relationship with this person where they can't 
bear the look on the other person's face because they're stressed. When they are worried about their partner, they're worried about what they're doing with themselves. They're worried about things. They're worried about, they're worried, they're worried, they're worried. And they're creating a stimulus of worry within them. They need to go out. They need to go out and just good look. Like they just need to look good for others sometimes. Like they just need to be that person at the bar that everybody looks for. You know, um, that person that is sort of like, wow, wow, she's hot or he's hot. Or like they need to be somewhere at a, like a um, deep void environment in a dark environment or a dark room where people can look to them for help through presence. Like the presence of letting go, the presence of just having a beer, you know, the presence of just having a drink or having, you know, one on the house or whatever. That energy is what stimulates other people more than you know. So when you are looking to other people about help, like how can they help me? Can I help them? Can I heal? Can I nurture? It sort of can fall through or can like fall short. And it can uh, be very enveloping for a while, this healing frequency, but then after a while it gets a bit freaky and annoying. It means you just basically need to go out more in the night, in the dark, and just be around human beings in the dark. And just face yourself in the dark. Face yourself in this dark environment of that smoky bar or that weird landscape and just feel nature and nurture. Something about this person that is both nature and nurture is they need to sort of find, to have found their feet by the age of 30. Um, and what I mean by feet is like their feet in this natural surroundings without the need to worry and stimulate yourself with tasks, task building, task completion. Like there needs to be something within you that needs to be stimulated by nature alone. But just breathing, you know, scratching your head a little bit because actually for this energy, scratching the head and just stimulating the hair follicles or just like stimulating you know, this kind of like eye closing feeling is really incredibly healing and very surrounding. So whatever you do, don't freak out. And if you do, um, be still for a while and go out, like go out and experience. Anyway, thank you very much for listening um, and surrendering as I hope this video has made you a little bit more placid than usual because I'm Libra Sun and that should have a pretty good effect on, on your moon. Um, I hope you had a wonderful day, night, evening, morning whatever you're having and thank you very much uh if you like a reading if you like a reading i'd love to hear from you uh otherwise leave a comment you know share subscribe all that stuff and have a wonderful day thank you so much